has been holding everything together. How many people are thankful God is holding it all together? Amen. And sometimes it feels like it's by a thread of grace, but I'm thankful he's holding that thread, <laughs> making it all work out uh, for our good. And in the process, God is always after this one thing while he's doing everything else. Listen to this. God is always after the deepening of our relationship with him. So things happen in life, and if you ask God why, why is this happening? The main reason, I believe, is God is trying to show us the power of what it means to have God on our side. This is how you and I come to know him. He brags, he boasts, he shows himself big in the Bible, and then he says, but I don't know if you really believe me yet, so I want to show you in your life. Do you not know that that's what he did with Abraham? Remember we studied that? God showed up to Abraham and said, leave home and go to a place that I will show you. And Abraham took off. And when God made the promise, God said, I'm going to bless you. If somebody be against you, I'm going to fight that battle. Like he basically said to Abraham, I got you. And then he sent Abraham on his journey. And as soon as Abraham got down to Egypt, he said, man, my wife, you beautiful. They're going to kill me because of you. Tell him you're my sister. And then they'll save my life because you're not my wife, you're my sister. So again, he didn't trust God. God, I just told him, I got you. But he went out there and tried to make it work for himself. But even in the midst of him telling the lie, and the, the king said, man, why you didn't tell me this was your wife? God spared him. The man didn't touch his wife, and he left out of there with all kind of cattle and all that meaning. God blessed him even in the midst of his mess. But what God was doing was, I told you before you left the house, I got you. <laughs> why are you taking matters in your own hands? Why are you not resting in my promise? The whole journey is about me teaching you how to rest in me, says God. What if life's journey, life's classroom, the things that happen to us, the things that happen for us, or even the things that go against us, what if all of those things are God pointing to say, listen, don't focus on that, focus on me. Peter, I know the storm is raging, but keep your eyes on me. You'll overcome these things. You'll be able to do the impossible, which is hold it all together in the midst of a crazy world. You'll be able to hold it together if you keep your eyes on me. So God is always fighting to get our attention.